I'm back with more weird artwork of mine. Alright, so this first one. Princess of Tri Trister? It shouldn't be Trister. I think it was Triaster. And her name is Liliana. And her arms are non existent, but we're more realistic. Again, every single person from here on out has a giant, disproportionately sized head compared to their body. That's how I drew people. Alright, this is another princess. This is Princess Francine. Again, way too skinny to be human. Princess Sarah. Dude, that makeup is killer, though. Princess Antoinette Annie. Well, that's a more realistic body type. Because I was trying to be diverse. And Princess Evangeline. Why did I never turn this into, like, a freaking story? And a flower. And the entire planet of Triaster. Because it has three suns instead of two suns. Because Star Wars has two suns. I can do one better, right? Oh god, the infamous Emma. I call her Emma. I thought this was the best drawing ever when I did it. Okay. Literally, Al is falling down the rabbit hole. Honestly, that's not half bad, and I'm supposed to be holding it this way because she's falling downwards. If you're falling down, then I'm falling down, Al. I am determined. Okay, random abstract nonsense. Art. Oh my god, my dad this, did this. This is amazing. I honestly think I was just testing out every marker I had back when I went to a religious institution. My name in Korean. A random bird. More cloud types. A minion. More Pac Man artwork. Another minion. An itchy minion. I really think I captured that very well. And an advertisement for a million dollar camera. And more nonsense. Two random friends. That's not what friends look like. A proposed flag for my town. A hula dancer. That was based on a book I did. More religious stuff. Another proudest citizen thing, but it's way too big to show. This was from an actual art class. I guess I was trying to be Picasso. Uh, something from a birthday party of mine. Something I did for an actual art class, except it wasn't an art class, it was my dad, but stages of life type thing. So there's a baby, there's a teenager, there's an adult, and there's a dead lady. Okay then, make your own scratch art. <laughs> Rachel, and her name, her sister is named Weirdo, or also Susan. And she lost her lollipop. Oh, this is a whole series of things. Emmy Lou and Esther. Fanny and Francine. Martha and Jesse. Ellen and Abigail. Rip Balloon. What was my obsession of balloons? Valerie and Vicky. Poor ice cream. Who would have ice cream that's that color anyway? That's disgusting. Literally Hermione Granger. Okay, then. That's actually cool, I'm not gonna lie. Alice does not wear a, 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 a purple dress. Also, the caterpillar doesn't look normal. Felicity, the cowgirl. If only she had an actual body. This was apparently the dress of 2010, according to my art style. In Old Town. A dude and a girl. The girl looks like a country farmer. The dude kind of looks like some guy I liked when I was nine. Personality test type. Why is that in here? I know that bats hang upside down by day and hunt with their evil eyes at night. Oh, this must be like a story snippet. Climaxes. Okay, this is all super useful. Oh, the Princess Peach template that I actually made that wall art, which you can't see. Um, I actually made this wall art up from that. Fantastic. All right. An orange-haired girl, and I'm holding this upside down, I just realized that. It's an orange-haired girl. That's actually beautiful, and I love it, except she has no body. 
Another girl who has no body, but what the heck is wrong with her hair? Oh my god, those eyes are so anime. This honestly looks like it's a character from something, but I don't know what. I think you're posing action figures. Yeah, I took an anime class and I'm proud of it. Why is she wearing an ugly Christmas sweater? A chippy doll. Chippy. Anime faces. This girl needs an eye check. A weird looking cat. Oh look, it's Anna and Elsa. I would say Anna's not half bad by Disney Princess standards. Elsa looks... Well, Elsa looks weird, okay? And there's Olaf. And a script for a play I was in. And something. And a map of the slave trade. That took a dark turn. And a map of against and for Ferdinand. Whoever Ferdinand was. Ferdinand the Bull. And this thing. Another school map. And I'm honestly pretty proud of this one. This John Lennon girl. With all these John Lennon song references hidden in there. I'm actually pretty proud of that one. Um, some beach girl. More from this, more of the same stuff. And you don't want to, you don't want John Lennon girl. You want straight up John Lennon. There it is. And Ray from Star Wars. And my dad drew Han Solo. And Luke Skywalker looking really weird. Another picture of Luke Skywalker looking really weird. And another one. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that Luke Skywalker looks weird. And Leia captured the facial expression perfectly. Although, I will say for a fact that I was madly in love with Luke Skywalker and I drew way too many pictures of him. I couldn't do the same with Loki. I don't want to talk about Loki because I'm still not over it, you guys. I kind of am. He has no feet? Luke Skywalker is supposedly firing a blaster, but I don't know what that's supposed to be. My teddy bear again. At least this one looks fully 3D rendered. My teddy bear from when I was two. My dad's drawing of Boba Fett. And C-3PO. My drawing of Princess Leia. This one's actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. This is a meme. The Phantom Minion. Qui-Gon Min and a Minion Skywalker. Minion Kenobi. Queen Amindala, Padminion, Shminion Skywalker, Min Minion, and Darth Mulnion. I was a big Star Wars fan, and I also had a lot of time to do stupid artwork. Okay, so this may be a random thing. I don't even know when I do this. Okay, so it's some angsty emo kid and some girl who's literally a cat and she's saying yeah like yeah cat <laughs> and a girl with freaky anime eyes again i kind of like that and last but certainly not least tatooine tatooine again you're seriously not done are you more tatooine well since we still have some time left in this video. I can read some of these story prompts that I never turned into actual stories because I have writer's block and I need help. Alrighty. Um, so these were all story prompt sentences that I turned into actual things. Alright, we're going to read them because... I'm going to read this. I know that bats hang upside down by day and hunt with their evil eyes at night. Like vampires. I still think that's the best first line of all time. I'm actually not going to read the prompts I ended up going with. I'm just going to read the prompts. I'm just going to read the prompts themselves. Okay, so here's the um, prompts. I need prompts right now. Alright, so these are the prompts. New Super Mario Brothers is the best Nintendo DS game, period. It still is. I still stand by that. That wasn't a prompt. That's just fact. I know that bats hang upside down at... And sleep during the day. I just want—I know that bats hang upside down during the day and hunt with their evil eyes at night, like vampires. That's the best first line that could possibly be ever for something. I gave him the number yesterday, and today General P. W. Frankenstein has been murdered. <laughs> That's so bad. 
The license plate was evil and green, also bad. Bowser was my brother's name before it wasn't. Bowser as in... As in Super Mario Browser or Bowser Nissan? Super Mario Browser. Windows 10! But that's not a browser, that's software. Internet Explorer! I had to make an Internet Explorer meme. Next prompt. Carden? I'm sorry, Carly. Camillo, that would be Camillo, according to this. According to my new knowledge of Spanglish. Brought... An ex bought a box of expensive art supplies on Tuesday, December 1st, 1989. I don't even know if Tuesday, December 1st, if there was a Tuesday to December 1st in 1989. So that's something I probably should have looked at before writing that. Of course, naturally, there would be a spaceship. Perfect. The house had Halloween decorations in February. Okay. The enormous black canine monster bared its teeth and growled in its throat. It's... Beady, devilishly green eyes glistened and locked on me. The target. Ready to strike. That's still the best description of dog peril ever. President-elect Donald J. Trump should just go and never- should just go away and never come back, said the butcher. <laughs> Getting political up in- well, we already got political for the very first one I showed you in the first video. Buzz Lightyear was the king of Narnia, of course. pink, fluffy, and unbearably stubby bathrobe swallowed up the little girl, who was walking to school in 12-inch platform shoes. It's a wonder that we survived the bomb on canned beans and ruined our appetites forever. <laughs> We're probably gonna need to do that again, aren't we? Once nuclear war happens. The master martial artist punched the painting rigorously. Dude, I was really, like, re like end of Mario 64, wasn't I? Don't you forget about me. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Don't, don't you forget about me. Don't, don't, some reason that reminds me of a different song. We bow love in a hopeless place. We bow love in a hopeless place. Oh. God, I can't wait to sing some more on stream. La la, tra la 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 It's the troll song. Tra la 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 a two! A ten! John! Running down the clock. I'm waiting for you, waiting for you, waiting for you. Waiting for you, waiting for you, waiting for you. To punch me in the face! Yeah! And I'm doing freestyle and I don't even care what nobody says. 